welcome to another what i eat in a day eating animal based whole foods pretty much all organic um so this is everything that i'm eating today starting off with breakfast <laughs> It's an outdoor gym, which is really nice. I've never actually been to an outdoor gym before this one, and I really like it. It was a bit cloudy this morning. Apparently, this is called like June gloom in LA, where it's like cloudy in the mornings, but it usually gets sunnier later on. Um, so when we work out later in the day when it's sunny, you sweat so much more because you get so hot outside, and I really love that because it's kind of like it's like a sauna but you're actually working out at the same time um but anyways so i'm feeling like something refreshing and hydrating so there's a little bit of goat's milk left that i'm going to finish drinking and then also have a little bit of fruit so it's just drinking some water this is the raw goat's milk um goat's milk is so interesting it tastes very similar to goat's cheese but fresh and liquid obviously it's less sweet than cow's milk um for sure and then just an organic plum which is this one is so juicy it's straight from the bottle okay so it's about 2 p.m and i just had an interview and now i'm going to have some raw liver which I'm going to swallow with some raw goat's milk. So, when I don't feel like eating the liver whole, because it's really hard to chew through, or if you don't like the taste of it, you just chop it up into small cubes, put it on a fork, and swallow it with a drink. You can even do water, but I'm just going to have it with some raw milk just like that so easy you don't have to chew it and because it's raw your body will digest it very easily I'm even doing three I'm stockpiling this I've been also eating some of these. They're dried apricots um, and also some dried raisins. They taste like much better versions of candy. I actually never liked lollies. I was always, I like chocolate, not lollies. Like I don't like those really fake looking ones. I never did, but dried fruit is actually such a tasty snack. It tastes so much better than those. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna be making a chicken soup, also known as chicken stock, which means it's gonna take three hours on the stove. So it's about 3 p.m. and by the time it's on, it'll be 3.30. So I'm starting it now so we can eat at 6.30. And I'm gonna show you how I make this. All right, so with a large stock pot, you wanna start off by pouring in the water because that's gonna take a while to heat up. And the idea is to have the water just covering the chicken, but we haven't put that in yet. So I'm just probably gonna fill it up to about like halfway. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna start to cut up the veggies. So this is all organic from the farmer's market. I'm gonna put in carrots, onion, garlic. All right, so this is how I've cut it all up. As you can see, it's pretty big chunks. And that's just so that it doesn't turn to mush when it's boiling in the water, but it's just carrot, onion, and garlic. 
So this is just a whole chicken from the farmer's market and I'm just gonna put this in the water, it's all boiled now. Okay, so I'm gonna put the onion and garlic in at the beginning because it's okay if they go soft um, and it adds a lot of flavor early on into the stock. And I'm also gonna add some pepper and also salt. So this is three liters of water, but as you can see, the chicken is still slightly out. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more water, maybe half a liter. There we go. But when the chicken starts to cook and soften, I will break it apart a little bit so that the bones can be a bit more exposed. All right, so there's an hour left and I'm just gonna add in the carrots and the potato now because that's enough time for them to cook without going too soft. Okay, so that's everything that I ate today. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have any ideas or videos that you would like me to film. I've never asked you before. So if you have any requests, then please comment below some ideas and some other things. And other than that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to follow along with all my future videos.